G'day viewers, how the devil are you? If you're looking for a spray type oil burner that's complicated, expensive and harder to put together than a Chinese puzzle, well this one isn't for you, because it's dead simple, dead easy and dead quick to make. Have a look how it goes. If you've come here today looking for the normal uh, fire and flames and safety tips and other things, I'm afraid you might be disappointed. This video is actually going to be something uh, factual and hopefully useful to a lot of people. It's going to be a real how-to. Basically, I've seen a lot of uh, different burners on the net, uh, particularly of the uh, the spray type rather than the drip type. You've seen me um, illustrate many times before, and to be honest, they all seem incredibly complicated. What is the hell is the matter with people? It seems that unless you go to as much complexity, expense, and just stuffing around as possible, people don't seem to think something will work. Well. This one, uh, as you've probably seen on the other video, uh, goes against that. This is how it's, uh, it looks in exploded view. You've got the main piece, which is just this um, brass T piece, and uh, that's what everything connects to. On this side, we've got the, uh, the fuel, and that's one of those uh, quarter inch uh, PEX tubes. And for the Americans, they'll be very glad to know that in uh, their strange terms, that's uh, quarter inch. It relies on these little uh, fittings which have the um, the little olive or ferrule in them and they come like this. You basically get them, they've got somewhere in them is the little um, is the little piece that you put the, um, the piece of copper or PEX through. You put it uh, back through there obviously you'd thread it from the back end, screw it up and there you go. And of course, it will just screw into the um, the main T fitting just like that. Now, what could be easier? Even Grandma could do that. So we have uh, the three sides. This is the nozzle. Again, the actual nozzle part is just a piece of the uh, the copper flattened down a bit to give it a little bit uh, of a, a pressure rise. Uh, you can do that to whatever you need. Obviously, it just requires a bit of screwing, uh, uh, clamping down with pliers, and you're pretty right. So this side we've got the fuel, and this side we've got the air. Again, you'll see it's just got the little uh, ferrule on it there, or the olive. It's tightened up, it locks on, makes a seal. You slip it all up, and uh, let me show you how difficult this is to construct. You jam that bugger in there like that, and uh, you tighten him up. For whatever reason, it won't go in. I've probably got up the wrong side. Okay. Nothing like live television. You put that one in there, and you put that one in there, and that's basically it. You're done. Now, that's a lot easier than some of the bits that I've seen that must have 30 damn pieces to them. I don't know how people ever work it out or, you know, uh, remember what to get. They must go to the, uh, the hardware or the industrial store with a, uh, a list of fittings on a piece of damn bog roll to, to, to remember them all. As you can see, that's pretty easy, and it really only requires two types of fitting. The uh, initial compression fitting and the T-piece. That's it. Um, you're pretty much done on the burner side of it from there. Uh, I don't think it could be much easier. You've seen how it works. After all, we're only trying to make fire here. We're not trying to launch rockets to the moon or Mars or anything else. So uh, this makes a spray. Uh, it works. Why go uh, to any more complication? Let me show you the other half, uh, which is the, uh, the pressure tank. Today's safety tip uh, just isn't for the uh, safety sissies. It's for the trendies and the, uh, the weirdos out there that are into all this colonic irrigation and enemas and everything else. This is not something to shove up the old Kyber Pass. If you do that, who knows what could happen. But I guarantee it won't be fun. So please use this just as an oil burner. If you can't do that, leave it the hell alone because, you know, we don't want you coming back and having another whinge to us about you pop your eyeballs out of your head or something else like that. Uh, it might just fit right up there, 
but it's not what it's for so please uh you know use your head as uh, well as the other end and uh, uh don't do it let's have a look at the other half of the burner and that's the pressure tank Basically you can use uh, any sort of vessel that's capable of holding pressure. Uh, I'd tend to be using an old uh, LP gas bottle, something like about a 9 kilo. Uh, in American terms that's, uh, oh, who knows what it is in American terms, my god, get with the program people. Just as long as it holds some pressure, that's basically all you need. Let's have a closer up look at the, uh, the fittings and attachments that are on this. Now the second part of the uh, easy to build, don't need to be a rocket scientist or take out a mortgage to purchase all the fittings type spray burner, is the tank itself. Now you can use uh, any sort of tank capable of taking pressure, uh, LPG tanks would be uh, very handy, they'd be um, easy to use and just put a couple of fittings in them. Uh, if you have anything else around, maybe uh, an old air compressor tank or something you know else off a truck the air tank off that anything like that would um, would work just fine so let's have a look at the components uh, that go on to the tank first of all we have the uh, air supply this is just a quick release from my compressor um, put that on as you want I have added some complication in expense just not to embarrass all the other designs too much and I've put an air valve on there you don't need that you can feed it directly from your compressor but as mine was a bit away from where I was doing the burner videos and I had to start and stop it I thought um, the six bucks on this was well spent other than that we've just got the normal um, the fittings as used on the other end and uh, here we have the oil supply now as you can see uh, that's got a, a needle valve on it so you can get um, an accurate uh, control because the air is fixed I don't use this to control the air uh, maybe you could if you wanted you could put a needle valve I'd, I'd say it's not necessary on the um, on the oil supply this goes down to the bottom of the tank so the pressure on the top forces the oil out from there obviously you control it with the valve now if you were using a uh, LPG tank you could just simply go down to the bottom put a fitting something like this so the um, line is getting oil not air and that would be it so uh, yes we've covered that that's just the the needle valve again the same um, compression fittings with the little olives in them and the only other thing is a, uh, a port to fill it as you can see that's a um, a one inch in American that's uh, a one inch uh, fitting there that's just been um, uh, epoxied in actually because it didn't quite fit this had some uh, weirdo threads on it and a plug to seal it off simple as that now uh, there's not much more complication than that if anybody needs to ask me any more questions uh, frankly I'd be worried uh, this is so simple I don't I don't really see what else there is to ask the fittings on this are all quarter you could do them to whatever size that you want um, I'd recommend you know you, you don't need to screw these in you could just weld a nut or something like that to tap them in it's all very easy the tank uh, only holds I only run it to about 20 psi you know any metal tanks gonna hold more uh, pressure than what you need by far so for the safety sissies there's going to be plenty of margin there although we know they're never satisfied so why bother worrying and that's um, that's basically it people um, you could use larger or smaller tanks there's you know there's no uh, restriction on that the the basis of it is uh, just to have some air and to have an oil feed now you probably could also use for your oil feed one of those pump up garden pressure sprayer tank things uh, just pump that up with the uh, with the oil in it to supply the oil and then run your air direct from your compressor that that too would work um, this is all very easy so uh, really you know I don't know why people go to all the trouble that they do with these other things it uh, it must take them days to build the bloody thing and at the end of the day you get the same result you get a bloody great fire so you know uh, it's not really how you get it it's the fact of what you do get so if uh, something can be simpler that's better for me 
Okay, so uh, that's about it. I hope you found that interesting and explains all the questions. Uh, for those of you that uh, can use uh, Reddit, uh, I'd be very uh, grateful and appreciative if you could put this on it and my other vids. It uh, helps greatly to get them seen. And I think this is something, this simple design is something that could help a lot of people uh, and save them a lot of time and money in building these things. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. By all means, don't forget to have a look at all the other videos on my channel. A lot of people keep asking me things uh, that I've already covered. So click on the oil burner uh, channel name there. I think I've got over 60 videos at the moment, so there's uh, bound to be something to amuse or appall you on there. And um, by all means, uh, click the like button if you enjoyed it. The next uh, video I'll do will probably be enclosing the burner in a tube to make it a, uh, an all-in-one and complete type setup. So uh, come back for that and thanks very much for watching.